morning you guys welcome to vlogmas day 24 today is the last vlog that i'm going to be filming this year and it's not going to be a really full-on vlog today is the 23rd of december when i'm filming this and will and i are celebrating christmas today we're doing our gift exchange and we're eating lots of good food and we're just hanging out and watching christmas movies all day so, instead of vlogging that day, what I thought I would do today is do more of a what I eat in a day video. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that we're eating today. So all of the special food that we're gonna have for Christmas, I'm gonna show you guys. We're just on our way to the grocery store right now. We're trying to get there in the morning before all the rest of the world gets there, but I have a feeling we're gonna arrive at the same time as everyone else, so. to show you all of the food that I ate yesterday, but I wanted to walk you through everything because I just uh, didn't do any talking. I just kind of like filmed everything throughout the rest of the day. I'm actually at Will's mom's house right now, drinking a mulled wine and uh, yeah, getting this video ready to go for you guys. So after we had our coffees, I made pancakes. And so that's what I'm doing here. Basically, I just split up the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients and then combined them. Make these pancakes all the time and this was probably the best they've been. For the dry ingredients, we have just flour, baking soda, and salt. And for the wet ingredients, we have plant milk, oil, maple syrup, and you can add vanilla, but I was out, so I didn't put any vanilla in there. I think one of the reasons is when I was stirring, I think normally I don't stir enough because I'm afraid of over stirring, but I feel like this time I got it like just perfect with the stirring. And then I also made them as really big pancakes, which I don't normally do. Normally I make like a bunch of little small pancakes and this time I made like just a couple of really big ones and they were so good. The texture, the flavor, everything about them was just amazing. So they turned out really, really well. I also made some of this vegan bacon that I really like and we ate the whole box and it was great. I am not a huge sweet person, especially for breakfast, so I always like to have something savory and something sweet together if I am eating something sweet for a meal. So, yeah. And for Christmas Eve dinner or like our big Christmas dinner when it's just Will and I, I always make us a nice big kind of fancy dinner. So two of the recipes that I'm gonna show you guys are recipes that I've been making every year since I went plant-based, so maybe three or four years now. And one of them was a new one that I tried out. So the two recipes that I've made in the past were a scalloped potato recipe and a stuffing recipe. Both of these are from Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. I'll put links to them in the description box down below. I do alter them a little bit to just suit our preferences, but they're so good, especially the stuffing recipe, you guys. Probably has something to do with the fact that it has six tablespoons of butter in it, but yeah, they're so delicious. So. I'm gonna just do this in the order that I cooked everything. I thought about like doing each recipe individually, but we're just gonna go straight through in the order that I made everything. So I started with the scalloped potatoes because they take the longest in the oven. I peeled the potatoes and then chopped them into pretty much like as thin of slices as I could get. Then I had Will chop up some onion for me. Fun fact, I am so sensitive to onions. They make my eyes burn so bad to the point where like I can't even really cut them myself. So Will cuts all my onions for me. So Will chopped some onions and then I laid those down in a baking sheet that I had sprayed some cooking spray on. So the onions are the bottom layer of the scalloped potatoes and then I layered on top 
one layer of the chopped potatoes. And then next up we need to make the like delicious creamy sauce that goes on top of the potatoes. So we started with a little bit of salt and then we add a tablespoon of mustard to that as well. Next up, half a freshly squeezed lemon, some plant milk, I'm using almond. There's also nutritional yeast in here and cornstarch as well. I also added in some cashews. So these are cashews that I boiled for 10 minutes. The right way to do this recipe is to soak the cashews overnight, but your girl don't got time for that. Your girl can't remember to do that. So whenever a recipe calls for soaked cashews, I always just boil them for 10 minutes and then they get soft enough. I honestly don't really know if it makes a big difference, but the recipes always say to soak overnight and I just don't do that. <laughs> then I blend everything together in the food processor and you can see it exploded on me a little bit. The food processor got a nice clean this evening. Then I pour that creamy sauce on top of the potatoes and onions and then I do a second layer So this was the first time I did this as well Normally I put in all the potatoes and then pour the sauce on top and this recipe turned out the best out of any time that I've made it And I think one of the reasons was because I did the two layers The potatoes were just really moist compared to sometimes they can be a little bit on the dry side So then we do the second layer of potatoes and we add a second layer of sauce on top and it just made everything so moist and creamy and cheesy and delicious the texture of the cashews along with the nutritional yeast it just makes everything like actually feel and taste like cheese it's just oh my god so good these are so good one of my favorite recipes for sure i went and put them in the oven and then after i filmed that shot for you guys i realized that you're supposed to put tin foil on so i took them back out topped them with tin foil and then put them in the oven and i got started on the next recipe which is a stuffing recipe again this is another one from sarah's vegan kitchen that i make every year that i really love this is so so good you guys so i start by chopping some brussels sprouts I love Brussels sprouts, especially roast ones, which is what we're gonna do with these. And then this year I just bought pre-chopped butternut squash. Normally I buy the butternut squash and chop it, but I was just like not really. Normally I'm like really into this meal and I'm like super stoked to be like making everything, doing everything from scratch. I'm still doing everything from scratch, obviously, but I cheated a little bit. I bought the pre-chopped uh, butternut squash. I just like I don't know, I wasn't feeling chopping up a whole butternut squash. Once I get that open, I add a little bit of olive oil to the squash and the Brussels sprouts and then some salt and pepper. And then I line a baking tray and I add those on top, get them nice and spread out. So this is the third recipe that I decided to make. Normally for our Christmas dinner, I make a uh, green bean casserole, but it's very labor intensive for like kind of a boring dish. So instead of that this year, I wanted to find something else. And I saw Rose from Cheap Lazy Vegan do like this creative Christmas video. And uh, I wanted to make these. So these are Korean pancakes. And what makes them Christmassy is the fact that I use red and green vegetables in them. So what I did to make these Korean pancakes is I started out with chopping up some red pepper, a green jalapeno, and some green pepper. I definitely, uh, after having made this, would say that I thought I had chopped everything fine enough, like you're supposed to chop them into little strips, but I definitely could have cut everything a lot finer. I think next time I might even do them in the food processor, and I know you can use any types of vegetables in these, but I chose these ones specifically because they were red and green for like, to make it a Christmassy dish. So after chopping up two and a half cups of veggies, I add some flour, some salt, and some water into a bowl. This bowl was way too small for mixing. Here's me attempting to mix this in a tiny bowl uh it's okay we got there eventually once we mixed it all up i added it into the veggies and gave it a stir and then i scooped it into a pan that i had heated up some oil in so once i got these into the pan i really like spread them out on the pan so that i could try I was really trying to get all the vegetables to touch the pan so that they would cook um, and that it would be more of like a pancake and less of like a pile. And then I just let them sit there for a while. It took me a while to make the pancakes because yeah, I let them cook for a minute. 
and then I was so nervous about flipping them because I was like there's no way this is gonna flip like this is not gonna work and then I was so shocked when I could actually flip them properly <laughs> Oh look, it's a fucking pancake! Yay! Wow, <laughs> just like in the Oh my god, that's amazing. So after I had the pancakes going and everything in the oven, I started on the rest of the stuffing recipe. So in a pan, I took some onion and some celery and then a ton of vegan butter, like six tablespoons of vegan butter. And I cooked those all together until they get soft. And then to that pan, I added some vegetable stock and you're supposed to put like vegetable seasoning, but I don't have any vegetable seasoning, so I just used like a generic like all-purpose seasoning then I add some bread so I just tear up uh, a loaf of bread and throw it all in there and the bread absorbs all of the liquid all of the butter and the veggie stock it all just like absorbs into the bread so after the Brussels sprouts and the butternut squash have been baking in the oven and they're cooked and they're baked and they've gotten nice and brown, I add those to another baking tray. And then to that, I add the butter, bread, celery, and onion mixture. And then once they're combined in the baking tray, I toss them back into the oven to get nice and brown and cook everything together. It's so good, you guys. At the same time that I put that back in to cook, I took the foil off of the scalloped potatoes so that we could brown the top of those as well. And things started finishing up. We started getting ready to go. So I pulled those potatoes out of the oven. Here are the finished pancakes. Don't they look beautiful? And they were so delicious. I made a little sauce to go with them. It's the sauce that we usually eat our, with our dumplings, which is just soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, and sesame oil. Oh my God, they were so good. And I think they look so cute all Christmassy. I did add a few little green onions to the top. I thought it looked really cute and tasted really good too. And that was our Christmas dinner. That was our Christmas meal. Everything was so good. We have so many leftovers which I'm gonna eat tomorrow I think I'm so excited about it this is something that I love to do for Will and something that we love to do together every year it is a Christmas tradition of ours to have me make a big feast like this and yeah it's so delicious and I'm telling you that if you are not a plant-based person and you tried this stuffing or these potatoes there's no way that you would know that they were plant-based so really good option if you have someone plant-based coming over to your place or if you are a plant-based eater yourself or you just want to try some plant-based recipes. These are such good ones. I'm for sure going to link them in the description box down below. This is the last time I'm going to be talking to the camera before Vlogmas is over. There's going to be a Vlogmas video going up tomorrow, but it's already been pre-filmed. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you have watched all 24 videos at this point, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing it. It was just like such a great month. It was so nice to like have something to work on and be committed to for the whole month while everything's been locked down and shut down. So I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It's gonna help more people to see it too. You guys can subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>